An example taken from everyday life of a batch process is the process cell we know as the kitchen. We all have first-hand experience of the activities and production procedures here. If we have a brief look at what goes on in the kitchen based on the criteria discussed in applications and branches, we can decide whether continuous or batch processes are involved. The production process is described using recipes. The chef can introduce new products or modify existing products at any time. More to the point, the chef can do this without the aid of the kitchen manufacturer or the team that installed the kitchen. Recipes are continuously optimized. In some situations, it may be necessary to document certain activities for the health authorities. For example, changing the oil in the deep fryer. When boiling water is required in a certain step, a wide variety of pots, in other words, units, can be used. While the water for the spaghetti product is being heated in a pot, it is, of course, also possible to peel the fruit for the fruit salad dessert. Several products are being produced in the process cell at the same time. The kitchen production cell obviously meets all the criteria we mentioned earlier and is a classic example of a batch process cell. For this reason, and because you know precisely what happens in a kitchen, we have chosen this as the production cell for the example that will introduce you to the capabilities of Simatic Batch. Let's have a closer look at exactly what happens in a restaurant kitchen. What is the working environment of the chef? The chef has recipes that not only specify how to make a dish, but also include the ingredients and the necessary amounts. Within the batch context, these recipes are known as master recipes. Several cookers, hot plates, and pots are available with which the dish can be prepared. Within the batch context, each cooker, hot plate, and pot is known as a unit. The set of cookers, hot plates, and pots in this kitchen is the process cell. The tendency today is to order the required material for an industrial process cell using tools from the Manufacturing Execution System, or MES level, or Enterprise Resource Planning, or ERP level. To avoid making the example too complicated, we will simply assume that the required material is available. When a customer orders a meal, the waiter creates a production order to trigger production. Once this production order reaches the kitchen, the chef begins to implement the order. Normally, the preparation runs parallel to other orders. Some of the existing pots, hot plates, and cookers will probably already be allocated for other orders. As a result, the chef has to select free resources or units, or wait until a specific resource becomes available. Once the chef selects his equipment, he follows the recipe to produce the finished product, the meal.